National MP Chris Pink is in trouble with his boss after tweeting that Winston Peters is a sex maniac. Judith Collins demanded he take the tweet down, but it was Peters who started the scrap. Political editor Tover O'Brien has more. In the event of an emergency, adopt the brace position. National MP Chris Pink. You'd be forgiven for thinking Chris who? Or even Chris Koo. Do you ever want to be leader? Uh, not any time soon. Um, I certainly wouldn't uh, put my hand up uh, before I felt ready. So that's off, yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, we would see potentially in the future. His opening gambit after that accidental coup on News Hub Nation over the weekend was this gem, a tweet saying Winston Peters is the real sex maniac because he can F-bomb a whole country at once. Judith Collins, did Winston Peters F-word the entire country? It's not a term I'd use. What did you think of Chris Pink's tweet? <laughs> well, it was removed. Because Judith Collins ordered him to delete Chris the Pink. tweet. Why did you take your tweet down about oh, Winston Well, Peters? I didn't want to cause any offence. Not wanting to stop either, barrelling through the press pack. I, uh, yeah, look, I don't want to cause any offence with the, uh, the framing of the tweet, uh, so I thought might as well uh, err on the side of safety and, uh, and take that down. To be fair to Pink, Winston Peters started it. He used his political resuscitation on Sunday to have a crack at everyone, including National. Have a good hard look at the mess they're in. Doubling down on National in an interview saying, quote, look at the sex maniacs and the mess they're in. What do you make of the fact that Winston Peters is saying Nationals full of sex maniacs? Yeah, no. Last year, National MP Andrew Falloon resigned after sending unsolicited sexual images to women. And this month, National candidate Jake Bazant quit over allegations he impersonated his ex-girlfriend to have cyber sex with men. Will you rule out ever working with Winston Peters again? Uh, well, like, I don't think it's going to become an issue because I really don't see him coming back. But just, just rule it out. I mean, this guy's just said that your party's full of sex maniacs. Well, he obviously doesn't know us. <laughs> Neither major party putting much stock in the return of Peters. It's a massive hypothetical at this point in time. And turning hypothetical into reality likely means plenty more petulance from Peters. Well, kia ora Tova. Is Chris Pink contrite? No, no apology to Caucus this morning, Mike, and he just texts calling it all a storm in a teacup. But poor old Pink, he tried to be funny, he completely missed the mark. He's talked plenty in the past about the need for the National Party to focus, to not be distracted, the fact that the party lost the election because it spent too much time talking about itself. And one surefire way to do all of the above is to engage in gutter, Twitter, tit for tat. But I suspect that Chris Pink will be keeping his head down for the foreseeable, either voluntarily or because it will be held down by the Iron Fist of Judith Collins. Tonight, quite over.